and welcome to the first episode of Kim's Universe. That's right, Kim's Universe. And, uh, you know, I want to get right into it because I'm telling you, I'm here just helping her on this journey. But, but Dr. Kim, talk, talk to me a little bit about, you know, who you are and your why. Uh, but, but, but before we get to those two, please let me know, how, how did you come up with Kim's Universe? Well, uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, I came up with Kim's Universe because I've been through so many different scenarios of life. And um, they added to different worlds. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I called you or I talked to you, mm -hmm. you said, um, I don't see world, I see universe. Mm -hmm. So you were right on point because I've um, expanded and lived through so many different worlds. And that world means individually something that I experienced to help me to grow. So I overcame one world to overcome another world. It could be finances, it could be anger, it could be hatred, it could be bitterness. Uh, those are worlds that we can get stuck in. And so um, I went along with um, that aha moment when you spoke and said, no, I see universe. I accept it because through those worlds that I spoke of and much more, I was able to recreate um, myself, where I came from was not um, an easy place. Um, and that means that you begin to look at how you can recreate yourself, Kim. And so that's what um, I have been working on since the day I was born, really. Um, so I was born to do something. And that something is inside of me. I use it to navigate through life, truly. And um, that is a universal presence. We call it God, but I believe that God is a part of the universe. So that means that um, for those watching, if you know it sets you off, and I was talking to someone about blasphemy. There's no blasphemy, only that that which you don't know of yourself. You know, because you and God are one. I and God are one. So that's that's what creating my universe was about. Wow, wow. And and, and the other thing I, I want to talk to you about. Uh at on your first episode is this transformational change yeah i mean you could talk a long time about transformation change can't you yeah yeah teaching um did not come from myself it came from god leading me and seeing christ in the book the way that christ traveled the path and so you know as i was speaking earlier transformation is a process that salvation gives us when we focus on ourself and our heart and that means that when you need a scripture, foundationally for me, Christ is the way, the book is the way. But the letter kills, but the spirit brings life. Wow, say that again. The letter kills, but the spirit brings life. So that means that you're going to find yourself meditating so hard through your challenges that you're going to get into that word and it's going to take you into other worlds that's wow. going to change you. And changing you is what salvation is about because it's an individual process and no one can give it to you. You can't even go and give tithe for that. Mm. That's an old process in the Old Testament. So your giving becomes elevated from the church concept, not putting church down because somebody going to need it. But your giving becomes elevated where you learn that you have to give to yourself and mm. not just show up for a sermon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope that I made sense there. Oh, so your transformation is in the Word. I live this, but I also teach it because I had to conform to what I'm saying. Not conform to the way of others. Conform, you know, be not conformed. Mm -hmm. But you conform to rules and regulations that are not ethical. I ain't covering nobody. Mm. I don't know why I'm going there, but I got to say mm -hmm. it. I'm mm -hmm. not covering nobody, but I ain't going to expose you. Mm -hmm. When I say I'm not going to cover you, I'm not going to be in your presence. See, I had to learn about ethics, and that's a part of your morality. That's the Ten Commandments. Wow. Your morality is the word that you speak, is how you think, is how you walk daily. Mm -hmm. Your immorality is what takes life away from you, your immorality. Mm. You have 
you know, they say immortal, but I'm talking about immorality in the context of you not giving props to someone right here and edifying. That's immoral. All right, because I want to get that straight. Some people are saying, well, you know, I'm going for immortality. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not talking about immortality yet. I'm talking about immorality because if you're immoral, you're not adding life to yourself or anyone else. So here is transformation again. I definitely didn't think of going into that. That's just how when you've been through so much, mm -hmm. the anointing, mm -hmm. it has to be broken inside of you in order for it to, to flow and you be able to speak what is true. Now, my truth is different from everybody else's. I've lived and learned. Let me tell you something. Transformation is when you see that you deserve more out of life. Wow. Wow. Now, there's a lot of people need to hear that one. Say that one more time. You deserve more out of life, but you don't act like you deserve more out of mm -hmm. life. You got to change it. Mm -hmm. Someone is saying to me, I kid you not, well, you know, what's, you know, what's in the future for me? I say, you know what's in the future for you because you are your future. You see how I feel, you know, when I'm talking mm -hmm. about you, me, and others. I feel good about it. Some people try to take that away from you because it's been a certain way. Mm -hmm. Your way is not mine. I have a calling, and that was, you, you was going to ask me a question, but I'm going to answer it right now. Mm -hmm. The reason why I studied theology, psychology, and astrology is because God led me to them. Three ologies. I still got some more. Oh, I was a cosmetologist. Cosmetology. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still more to study. Someone said, oh, um, well, well, how do you do that and you be a person of the church? Well, you know, I put down going to the church and I started going to the church in me. Now, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't walk into another church. I don't want to hurt nobody. John's way of teaching is for somebody and Jesus' teaching is for somebody. Mm -hmm. It's two different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, the path, he said, he is the way. He is the way. So a religious person is going to religiously practice words, but a spiritual person is going to become the word. That's your transformation. So there, there's a difference. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Your spirituality is going to teach you to practice the word so that you become the word. I mean, that's biblical. And, and the reason why you have to practice is because you've been through so much that your mind may not sustain living another day. Mm. The brokenness. Huh? Mm -hmm. So in that you got theology, which teaches you a foundation. The, the foundation of your religion will take you into a, a place of spirituality, but it also will open up the psychology of, of things to help people understand their emotional behaviors. Because if I come in here and someone says, you know, we're, if we were on this, on this set today mm -hmm. and they say, well, you're wrong. Well, that's your truth. It's mm -hmm. not mine. Mm -hmm. uh, look, there's, there's a justification in me. And I'm condemned if I don't talk about what I talk about to those that I meet. Mm -hmm. What about you? You understand? Mm -hmm. What about you? Some people are afraid to talk about the things that we're talking about when we get into the other part. And I brought up astrology because... We're the only ones that do not know that our date and time defines our success. You can get through a lot of loopholes if you knew the date and time significantly and what it says about you in the chart. Well, here, if you go to Ezekiel, he said he's like a wheel in the middle of the wind. Mm -hmm. The natal chart is a wheel. Now, I ain't trying to convince you. I'm convinced. Why? Because it took me a long time after that conditioned thinking. To even go into psychology. But if psychology helps the people, then I want to talk to your mind. So you can get to your heart. Mm. And then you can change your heart. Because most people are lying about their existence. Amen. Amen. Now the next thing is, what's my purpose? My purpose is to help individuals that are willing to heal and manage their life. And I, I gave three areas, and it does that. Now, I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm saying, this is who I am. I can't be nothing else. Or I would be frustrated 
and still in a dysfunctional way of living if I didn't speak the truth. The truth is, is that we're born on a day and time for a reason. And that reason sets us up for our success. Now, you have other people that understand this. They even schedule their babies and to, to be born. They sure do. They sure do. In royal times mm -hmm. such as Leo. All right, come on, John, because you like know that. Man, I, I'm I, going I, I, on. I, but, Thank but, you, Jesus. But, but, but I'm being uh, enriched. I'm being poured into just listening to you. Mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of broken folk in our community. I'm not talking about any That's other right. community. My focus is... I can mean because as my dad used to always say, if if in America if you put your boat in the water, when the tide rises, because it's always gonna rise, your boat will rise with the tide. Well, and, and, and one of the things in our community is there's just so many things we don't talk about. Right. Uh, but we need to. Yes. Uh, because if we keep on doing the same thing we've always been doing. Right. We're gonna keep getting the same result. Right. And and, and, I, and my my focus is this. And my question to you is this. We got a lot of broken people. And we got a lot of broken things in the black community. You know, what what give me one one thing that you like to focus on, one thing that, that could help uh, with that brokenness in the black community. Well, you know, therapy. Hmm. Yeah. Mental health. But we don't do that. Right. Yep. So when I tell you about theology, it can help you. Mm -hmm. It's helped a lot of people, right? When I tell you about psychology, it's usually separated from theology. But if theology does not help a person to change his mind, then what good is Romans 12, 1 and 2? Bring your heart and mind to the altar. It can't work because your mind has to be able to change in order for you to get a, a breakthrough in life and breakthrough is not just through prayer, it's your actions, changing the way that you do things. So then when you're looking at, someone will say, astrology, astrology deals with behavior as well. Because we are influenced by energy. You say you wanted to talk about different areas. You know, we're influenced, people will, you know, talk about different spirits, but we're influenced, and if you can't, edify people on the fact that we're influenced, number one, we'll never have discipline over our mind, bodies, and spirits. So what good is it for me to talk to you about Romans 12, for mm -hmm. instance? Mm -hmm. How can I bring my heart and mind to uh, the altar if I don't know about the altar, if I don't understand that the altar is alterations in my life, in my circumstances? Now, you know, I want to back up when I say that and, and let everybody know, well, I do understand that the church is open for the altar, but people have to go to the altar of themselves. Mm. They have to, the, the mind and the heart being brought to the altar is coming into your core. Because you can have coaching, you can have a pastor help you, but if you're not truly open and you're not truthful with yourself about alterations that need to happen, then nothing is going to work until you get to that place where you're opening up. This Christos Christ is transparency. That means that you can't hide no skeletons no more. Ex explain that again. Christos is transparency. Like you, you have to be open. That means that if someone was raped, okay, most of our people has had people in their family that has touched each other. What, what am I afraid of saying that for? For shame. Mm -hmm. Mind shame. Mm -hmm. By telling the story and healing. See, this is mental health. Trauma. You, you're trying to act like something that you ain't came to because you ain't released that old something. You old wine in new skin ain't happening. Mm. Mm. It ain't. I mean, that's experience. So in order for the wine to really work, John 2, you have got to allow yourself to be transparent with hurt, pain, and damage. That's mental health. It's also some, you know, the aspects of astrology because my moon tells me why um, I, I came into a poor family. Wow. 
why I was emotionally unstable at times or passive aggressive. Mm -hmm. Now I settle it with myself and say that it is what it is. So when you meditate, it just automatically begins to calm you down. You can meditate walking, you can meditate just sitting somewhere. But that inner self of you, when you bring it to the altar, that, that heart, the altar is alterate, alterations to your heart. The hard-hearted person can't get nothing, no way. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging anybody. I'm saying what's fact according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Lived and learned. So the first thing that most people will have to do is get mental health. And, you know, I did a paper um, when I was in college on dysfunction. So we can make it easy for people. Dysfunction is a mental health issue. That if you get it right now, it can change the whole trajectory of your life and others, your family. Now, what's the definition of dis di dysfunction? Well, what are, what are some so dysfunction? dysfunction is where something is not working right. There's a malfunction. So I took that word and put it into the body because Paul talks about it. You know, the hand can't do what the head can do. Mm -hmm. But if you only got a hand and your head ain't working, there's dysfunction. Mm -hmm. So when we look at dysfunction, there is a problem. People don't want to face mental illness because they used to say it was that people were crazy. Well, mm -hmm. take crazy out and say, I need some help so that I can do better with my life. Because once you get your mind in order, then you can set goals and you can do better. Yeah. Well, so why, why do you think... In, our, in the black community, there's such a, 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 a stain on you if they find out you went to get uh, some therapy. Why, 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 is, why, why is that the case? It's, it's arrogance and ego. It's pride. Okay. It's not wanting people to know a shame again. Mm -hmm. Not wanting people to know that something was wrong with you. But I said when we were talking as I came in today that I, I, I had a mental breakdown. So the mental breakdown was good for the upbuilding of the kingdom of God in me. You know, the edification of God because I was broken of everything that I remembered about a former life and the new life was able to come in. Mm. Mm. So, so sometimes you have to be broken down yeah. to find what your true journey needs to be. Yeah. Otherwise you're going on that journey that everybody says is okay and and, yeah. and it fits what they want in your life, uh, you know. So, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's it's real simple. But it's hard to do though. Some for some people. It is, but I think that if you get around the people that teach this and support you on your journey, mm -hmm. then you come to the place where you understand that it's okay for me to reveal the skeletons. You know, I shouldn't keep. Day Day and Susie in the closet about cousins having babies together. I need to expose that. Mm -hmm. You know, because it will happen again if you don't expose it. He said, confess your sins one to another. Wow. Wow. I know I've been saying wow a lot because, you know, it, it's what you... And it happened it, it, as soon as <clears throat> as we were introduced to each other. I mean, we made a, 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 a just a immediate connection. Um, you know, the other thing I want to say is, is you, know, you know, one of the things that I noticed about you is you said renewed mind wellness tele, uh, telehealth program. You got a renewed mind wellness telehealth program. What, what's now, that? Now that's about? what I used to. I used to work with um, renewed mind. You know, oh, you want to renew your mind? Yeah, yeah. Because my thing is, when when I look at your work. I look at your work as being transformative because that's a, a word. That's a, but I also look at your work as as renewing the mind. Yeah. Uh, so, because when you came out of of, uh, of of being broken down, you had to renew your mind. Yeah. So I would give. Um, I'm gonna say I went to um, True for Living um, here with um, the Loves. Okay. And um, they took a. I owe the a, a lot of gratitude, and oftentimes when I talk to Bishop. Um, I always tell her I will never forget her because in um, the most broken time of my life, mm -hmm. 
she and other women, um, Janine Rosser was there. Um, I was in a pit. Mm -hmm. And um, she and her husband, they ministered to me things that I didn't want to hear. But I had to accept it, such as love your enemies. Mm. Yeah. Um, Janine Rosser, all of these people, they, um, they supported me through a valley situation. So my experience is that of what most people go through. And um, they may not trust to allow others in. Well, I wanted mm -hmm. to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, and they helped me to survive um, by pouring that that wine into an old skin. Yeah, in an empty skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The renewance came, but I was empty. And the emptiness continued to call emptiness. So being um, under their care at that time of my life, it blessed me. And um, it's, it actually, it made me who I am because Bishop, the loves is about that word. Yeah, so from the word on to the other aspects, I would continue my journey. But yeah, um, I have a godmother that spoke into my life from the time I was 13 and told me I was going to be a great teacher. Uh, I never knew I would go through the things that I did. But I'm grateful, mm -hmm. and I'm saying it because I learned what I'm able to give to others. You know, don't stop. Don't stop. So if I want, if I want to sit under some of this teaching, if I want to get some of this knowledge, uh, some of these blessings, uh, how would I do that? So we have, um, first of all, they can call me, 702-980-8752. Um, uh, we do uh, leadership meetings on Tuesdays. Um, the other day is uh, on uh, Thursdays. We have classes, um, and so how do I get signed up for that? Uh, email me, or uh, I would like for them to email me. Anybody that's interested, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail dot com or kim dot warner twenty seven at gmail. Dot com. Okay. Um, we have uh, www.wealthyliving.org mm -hmm. um, for anybody that is listening. And if you have some of the challenge that I, I did, I don't think I broke down crying for no reason here because my path has put me in that mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. to be able to help people that have struggled and been stuck mentally because of past issues. Whatever you did and whatever you didn't do, whatever was done is all a part of your spiritual growth in the path that you have to take for a process. That's what it is. You know, you know, we've, we've got like maybe five more minutes left, but one of the things that, that I wanted to also talk about is why is it that in our community, um, you know, we don't want to talk about mental health, but other communities have no problems talking about mental health. Yes, yeah, still, it's pride and... Um, I know you said pride, but the reason I want to go back, I'm just... I'm just, it's, it's amazing to me that we don't go get the help that other communities are going to get. And I think that we don't look at the fact that working is not enough. Mm -hmm. So people are working, 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 trying to accomplish things. And uh, if you're working and working, mental health will not be sustainable because you're not giving time to yourself to build yeah. yourself mm -hmm. up. Um, and the reason why we do it is because we've always been um, under the master's uh, care. See it. The slave to the master. Mm -hmm. You know, you're enslaved, um, been there, done that. You're enslaved to buying things that you want, so you keep working for things instead of working on yourself. You know, another thing is, is that when you look at the fact that you're going to go if your body is sick, then you want to take care of your mind as well because mm -hmm. they work together. And if you don't have a mind, then that means that you, you might as well be dead. Mm -hmm. If you can't think what you're doing today, when you get up in the morning, you need to rethink what you've been thinking about. You know, people go to bed and they're thinking about their worries and concerns. Well, that was yesterday. So where is every day is renewed? You know, and uh, so the, everyone has a reason why they won't go. But I believe that the number one thing is, is that they don't want to admit that they have problems. I do believe that some people can't identify that they have problems. So 
you know, if you're having financial trouble, that's going to put you in a spin right now. Mm -hmm. So that's the mm -hmm. place where you go and you start looking at spiritually, what do I need to do to change? Because it's not going to be earthly. If you was making money, and even if you was broke, you might have been put, a, put in a position where God was saying, you need to come to me for money. You need to depend on me for um, money. I'm your source. If you don't depend on God, then here it is again. We're just going around the mountain. Because you haven't realized that I'm the one that gives you the power to obtain wealth. That can drive a person crazy. Because they, they've only identified with earth and how to get money. And they really don't have faith to wait on God. That would drive you crazy. You know, one of the other things, and we got a little, a little over two and a half uh, minutes left, but one of the other things <clears throat> that I want to talk about uh, uh, in this first edition of Kim's Universe, I just love saying that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the other thing I want to talk about is our history is a communal history. America's history is put yourself up by the bootstrap individualism. Yeah, that's. I it. think I think there's okay. a lot of conflict with black folks, uh, uh, because we have this conflict in our minds of which one do I do I choose the one that's natural for me, which is communal, or do I choose the one that the powers that be said I better be because I'm in America. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, the powers that for with the powers that be, you got to recognize that you're under the influence. And as you recognize it, then you come out of that influence and you find refuge with people that are not influencing the powers that be. Mm. Mm. And that's, that was said something right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was watching, I know we're getting ready to um, wrap Grab this up. up. Yeah. Mm. But I was watching Troop One. Viola Davis is in that. It's a bunch of little kids. One little girl is in there and um, it could be um, China from um, Disney could be her or one of her sisters but she said Christmas to one of the little girls I didn't never want nothing and I was fine now I want something I got problems mm. now that's mm. something to talk about next time I, I already wrote down the I like that I like she, that she you know I'm watching this with these kids she blew me away because wow. it was like the more I want the more problems I have there's was, there was a rap song about that, but I'll leave that alone. Okay, we're going to talk right about now. it next time, right? Yeah, but mm -hmm. again, tell, tell the folks uh, uh, about, uh, the, we told the folks about your journey. We told the folks what the definition of Kim's universe is. Tell them one more time, how can they reach you? What's that phone so, number again? 702-980-8752. And my email address, kim.warner27 at gmail.com. You can even look, uh, go on. My website, my other one is um, uh, Kim's World. Okay. Uh, KimWarnersWorld.com. Thank uh, you. Yeah. And we'll see you on episode 